I'm going to show you how to answer question 5.4 from your mock exam. If we just read through the question, a scientist noticed that in one area the gorse plants had yellow leaves. That is relevant information and had stunted growth. That is also something that you have come across in your learning. One reason for yellow leaves and stunted growth is a deficiency of nitrate ions in the soil. Explain two other possible reasons for yellow leaves and stunted growth. Do not refer to nitrate ions in your answer. Now I'm thinking I've got yellow leaves so that means that there is a lack of photosynthesis because I need green leaves with chlorophyll for photosynthesis. So that's where I'm going with my answer. Yellow leaves is lack of photosynthesis. Now, stunted growth, which molecule do I need for growth? Well, that's about proteins. Proteins are needed for growth. So I need to try and incorporate that into my answer as well. So I need to explain why yellow leaves, which would cause a lack of photosynthesis, would eventually lead to stunted growth and a lack of proteins. So reason one for why the gorse plant had yellow leaves. I'm thinking infection and response. We learn that plants get diseases and plants get tobacco mosaic virus, TMV. So reason one, plant is infected with TMV. So what I've got to do now is link TMV to lack of photosynthesis to stunted growth because there is a lack of protein. So the explanation, TMV causes yellow leaves. Yellow leaves mean less photosynthesis. and less glucose produced. I still haven't linked that to making proteins. The glucose is then used to release energy and respiration. So less glucose means less energy released from respiration so there is I'm going to carry on to the bottom so there is less energy for protein synthesis Now, I just want to read that again to make sure I have checked. I want to go from yellow to lack of photosynthesis to connect to proteins. Plant is infected with TMV. TMV causes yellow leaves. Yellow leaves means less photosynthesis and less glucose produced. Less glucose means, correct that, less energy released from respiration, so there is less energy for protein synthesis. The one way I can make this answer better is saying less energy for protein synthesis for growth. And then I have connected up all the parts of my answer. Reason number two, why would the leaf be yellow? Well, if the leaf is yellow, there might be a lack of chlorophyll. What do I know causes a lack of chlorophyll? Lack of magnesium ions. So reason two, there is a lack of magnesium. ions in the soil. So how does that now link for growth? Lack of magnesium ions would mean lack of chlorophyll and then I am in the same pattern as before. Lack of chlorophyll means less 
photosynthesis. And less glucose produced. Less glucose would mean less energy release from respiration. Which would then result in less energy for protein synthesis. for growth. So I've made sure I've connected all the dots again. Lack of magnesium ions, which are used to produce chlorophyll. So if there is less magnesium ions, there is less chlorophyll. Less chlorophyll means less photosynthesis and less glucose produced. Less glucose available for energy release from respiration. Less energy for protein synthesis, which is needed for growth. The key components of that question were yellow leaves and stunted growth. To show me that you can now logically sequence an answer to link and explain those two things, I want you to answer this question. Yellow leaves could also be caused when there is not enough light. So explain how a lack of light would result in yellow leaves and stunted growth. And I'm going to see if you can break that down into six marks. So it's an explain. So you have to give me all the science facts. You have a lack of light. And I want you to take me in a logical order through one, two, three, four, five, six bullet points of steps to link those two things. Take a picture of that work and upload it to class charts.